Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this pink and black hair website. This website is perfect for hair, beauty, and cosmetic businesses. This website is also mobile and desktop responsive. And in this tutorial, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as web banners and logos. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. By the way, if you are a beginner to Shopify, I do have a detailed Shopify beginner's guide. This guide breaks down everything you'll need to know to get your Shopify store started and ready for launch. In the guide, I've included video tutorials, written explainers, and live examples. That way you can understand every section. That will be linked in my description box. Make sure to use my code BEVERLY20 for 20% off. You're going to open up Shopify and go to online store and then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see Shopify's free theme library. And I'm going to be installing the original Dawn theme and this is going to be the base for our website. Once that has installed, you're just going to click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website will look in full screen. And when you click this icon, it will show you how the mobile version will look. I'm going to click on the header and under desktop logo position, I'm going to change this to top center. You're going to go to theme settings and you're going to click on logo and here you'll be able to upload your logo and your favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having a logo that's in a transparent PNG format. Under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of the logo. Then you're going to click on social media and here you can paste the links straight to your brand's social media pages. Then I'm going to click on the announcement bar and I'm going to be displaying the social media icons. Under announcement bar, I'm going to be removing this announcement bar text, but you can leave this in if you would like. I'm going to open colors and open color scheme 3. I'm going to set the background to a light shade of pink. Then I'm also going to apply a gradient background and this is just going to be a light pink gradient background. I'm going to change the text to black. Then you're going to click on the header and set this to color scheme 3. You're going to open color scheme 2, set the background to black, and set the text to white, and I'm going to change the outline button to white. Then I'm going to click on the announcement bar, then set this to color scheme 2. When you scroll down, then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. To remove that effect, under sticky header, you can just click none. Once you're done, that is how I designed the header portion for the website. Next I'm going to show you how I designed the slideshow banners. Now I'm going to show you how I designed this slideshow web banner section. So here you're just going to click add section to template and I'm going to apply a slideshow. Then I'm going to remove this image banner. I'm going to remove the heading text and the subheading and I'm going to remove the container. Under desktop content position, you're going to set this to bottom center. Then you can title this button label and paste the link to a page or a product collection within your website. Then you're going to repeat those steps for the second slide. Click add block. Then I'm going to repeat those steps once again. And under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. You're going to set the pagination style to dots. Then you're going to open a color scheme one and set the background to a light pink color. All right, I've opened up Canva and here I'm going to be showing you how I designed those three slideshow banners. I'm going to click custom size and the dimensions I'm going to do are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm going to change the background to a light pink color. You click upload files, you'll be able to import the pictures that you'd like to add. I'm going to be using Canva's background removal feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can just use a free background removal editor. You're going to click on text, then upload a text box. I'm going to change this to white, then apply the font Hamilton. And I'm going to apply the lift effect. Then you're going to apply another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. And I'm also going to apply the lift effect. Then I'm going to duplicate this, and that will just create a smaller tagline text. I'm going to duplicate this text box one more time. Once you're done, this will be our main web banner. I'm going to click Add Page. You're going to open up Elements, then open Frames, and apply a square frame. I'm going to duplicate this, then duplicate it one more time. Then you can just drag and drop your pictures onto these frames. I'm going to click on text, then upload a text box. I'm going to put this in bold, then italic. You're going to apply another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font Dream Avenue. Then I'm going to duplicate this text box, and that will create a smaller tagline text. You're going to click Add Page. You're going to apply a square shape, then upload another square frame. Then drag and drop a picture. I'm going to apply a text box, apply the font Hamilton, then upload another text box, and apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm going to apply one last text box, put this in uppercase, and then bold. 
Once you're finished, these will be our three slideshow web banners. You're gonna download each of these individually in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click select image, then upload each of those web banners. Under slide height, you're gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed these slideshow web banners. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. This is a fully done for you Shopify theme template. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, it will come in a zip format and you'll be able to easily install it into your Shopify store with a few clicks. This will save you a ton of time from having to create and design this website from scratch. This is a full package bundle, so it also includes all of the Canva templates you'll see me putting together in this video. All of these Canva templates can be opened with a free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account. In case you need help editing, there is a step-by-step -step instruction guide included that will be linked in my description box. Also, in case you just don't have time to put together your website, I also offer custom installation. When you order this Shopify theme along with my installation package, I would go in and install the Shopify theme and customize it for you. That will be linked in my description box. Next, I'm going to show you how I design the collection list. So here, you're just going to add a collection list. Under heading, you can retitle this section. I'm going to go to typography and I'm going to change the main font to sheriff. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to cabin bold. Under image ratio, I'm going to set this to portrait. And when you click on a collection, it will allow you to select each collection you'd like to feature. Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just collections of products you've chosen to put together to keep your shop organized. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed those collection covers. The dimensions I'm going to be doing are 1179 by 1473. You're going to click on elements and then apply a grid. Then you're going to upload a text box, change this to the color white. I'm going to put this in uppercase, apply the font glacial indifference. Then I'm going to apply the lift effect, upload another text box and apply the font beautifully delicious. And I'm also going to apply the lift effect. Then you're going to duplicate this page and then just retitle each of these pages to represent all of your product collection. Then you can just drag and drop your pictures. Once you're finished, these will be the collection covers. Next, you're just gonna download each of these. To upload that collection cover, here on Shopify, when you click Create Collection or open an existing product collection, right here under Image is where you can upload that collection cover. And once you're finished, that is how I added the collection list. And I'm just using these as examples, but the collection title will show right down here. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the About Us section. So here, I'm just going to add an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm going to remove this second button label, and you can title this first button label and paste the link to a page or a product collection in your website. I'm going to apply the outline button style, then set this to color schema 2. Next, you can go ahead and insert your text. Here on Canva, I've opened up that same web banner page, and you're going to click Add Page. Under Elements, you're going to apply a grid, and I'm going to be applying a picture for the background. Then you're going to lower the opacity. I'm going to upload another grid, then drag and drop your picture. I've searched for a faded element, and I'm going to upload one of these onto the screen. I'm going to duplicate this, and this will just create a shadow effect. Then you're going to upload a text box. Here you can type in your brand name. Apply the font Authentic. Then I'm going to duplicate this text box. I'm going to also apply a faded circle effect. This will just add a sort of shine effect. Then you're going to download this page. Here on Shopify, you're going to click select image, then upload that page. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And under image behavior, I'm going to apply a fixed background position. Once you're done, that's how I designed the about us section. And next, I'm going to show you how I designed the shop qualities section. So here, I'm just going to add a multi-column. You're going to remove the button label, then remove the column background, then remove the heading text. You're going to set the column alignment to center, then I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. Under heading, you can type in a quality that your shop has to offer. For example, you can put quality products, fast shipping, or all natural ingredients. You can also type in a mini description to match. I've opened up that same web banner on Canva, and I'm going to click add page. I'm going to set the background to black, and under shape, I'm going to upload a circle shape. Then you can search for the icons that you'd like to add. You're going to duplicate this page, then duplicate it one more time. Once you're finished, these will be the icons. You can just download each of these. Here on Shopify, you can upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. 
Next, I'm gonna show you how I added the featured collection. So here, you're just gonna upload a featured collection. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're done, that is how I added the featured collection. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the customer review section. So here, I'm just gonna add a multi-column. I'm gonna remove the button label. Under heading, you can retitle this section, then set the column alignment to center. I'm gonna increase the number of columns to four. When you click on a column, under heading, I'm gonna be pasting these star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Under description is where you can paste in their review. I would just be using this text as an example, but I'd also recommend putting the reviewer's name. You can also paste the link straight to their review or the product they left the review on. Once you're done, that's how I added the customer feedback section. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I designed this next web banner. So here I'm gonna add an image banner. I'm gonna remove the second button label, then apply the outline button style. Then you can title this button label and paste the link to a page or a product collection within your website. Then you can title the rest of this section. I'm back here on Canva and I'm gonna be showing you how I designed the background web banner. So I'm just gonna click add page, set this to a light pink color. You're gonna upload a square shape, then upload a square frame. Then you're going to select and duplicate this. Then you can just select and drag your pictures. You're going to upload a text box. I'm going to change this to the color white. And I'm going to apply the font to Beautifully Delicious. I'm going to apply a lift effect. Then I'm going to duplicate this. And then you're going to download this page. On Shopify, you're going to click select image. Then upload that white banner. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt a first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the email signup and blog post section. So here, I'm just going to add an email signup. I'm going to apply color scheme 2. Then I'm going to retitle this section and set the heading size to small. Next, I'm going to add a multi row. And I'm going to be removing this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. When you click on a row, under heading, you can type in the title of the blog post that you'll be featuring. And you can also put a mini description to match. Then you can paste the link that leads straight to that blog post. Click select image. Then you can upload the pictures that you'll be using to represent that blog post. Once you're finished, that's how I added the email signup and blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I design the Instagram post section. So here I'm just going to add an image banner. And I'm going to be removing all of the text and button labels. Then I'm going to add a rich text and I'm gonna be removing the text. I'm also gonna decrease the top padding. Then you can title this button label and paste the link straight to your Instagram. Back here on Canva, you're gonna open up that same web banner page and click add page. I'm gonna upload a text box and apply the font Hamilton. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm gonna duplicate this and create a smaller text right below it. Then you're gonna search for an Instagram icon. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just make sure to use their free icons. And I'm gonna position this behind the text. Then you're gonna upload a square frame. I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna be designing this in a sort of stair-step pattern. Once you're done, you can just drag and drop the Instagram post that you're gonna feature. Then I'm gonna upload another text box. I'm gonna put this in the font Noto Sheriff display, then italic. Once you're done, this is gonna be the Instagram section banner. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click select image, then upload that Instagram post web banner. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that is how I designed the Instagram post section. All right, and here is the finished hair website. And like I mentioned before, this Shopify theme template is available on my shop. It is a fully done for you Shopify website. It will save you a ton of time. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, it will come in a zip format. And here on your Shopify homepage, you can easily install that into your store with just a few clicks. There is a step-by-step -step instruction guide included to help you edit the template. And this is a full template bundle, so it will also include all of the Canva templates that you see me creating in this video. Those Canva templates can be opened with the free version of Canva. So all you would need is a free Canva account. That will be linked in my description box and make sure to use my code Beverly20 for 20% off your order. Also, I do offer custom theme installation. So if you order this Shopify theme template and you want me to install it into your store and customize it for you, my theme installation package will be in my description box as well. And by the way, if you are a beginner to Shopify and have a lot of questions, I do have a Shopify basics guide that breaks down everything you'll need to know to get your Shopify store set up and ready for launch. In the guide, I've included a collection of video tutorials, written 
and explainers and live examples so that you understand each section. That will be linked in my description box as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.